What's going on, Reefing Fan? March here, Frag Box TV. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. This dog is always sleeping. Okay, uh, we're gonna do a setup. We're gonna do a review a hardware setup of this here, which is a Camor X5S dosing pump. Now, before I tell you any more, just know that we are not sponsored by Camor. We're not sponsored by Aquaforce, which is the additives we happen to use. We're not sponsored by anyone so i really don't have any problem telling you if the thing sucks if it's amazing and i'm going to give you a very very honest review and i think that's why you guys like the channel and that's why we're here approaching 45,000 subscribers is the honesty because um yeah you know what i just want to tell you what's good and what isn't so this tank here is consuming what why would you use a dosing pump when you want to add stuff liquid additives and you're tired of doing it by hand so um, for us, this con tank consumes a lot of iodine, mostly from our soft corals, uh, zoanthids. We have, well, you can't see it here, but this is actually hooked up into the basement into a much larger farm sort of system. And you're only seeing here about 90 gallons of a larger 400 gallon system. It drains down over here. This is our overflow, goes downstairs. So the zoanthids suck up a lot of iodine. Potassium I find we're low. And I'm using a couple other additives just to control nitrates and phosphates along with a refugium. I'm tired of doing it by hand. I did have another doser on here, which was this one, the Red Sea Reef Dose 4, which I think is the biggest piece of junk. For $700, I was a very, very unhappy. Red Sea, if you're watching, I don't care. I'll let you guys know. That thing sucks. The app sucks, and the customer service was even worse. So that doser was gone. So let's try something new. I was thinking maybe to try the Versa. I haven't had any experience with this one here. It's not a really hot seller. It's very expensive. It's about 1,200 Canadian dollars. I have this one here waiting to get hooked up, but I think I'm gonna use this one at home. I want more experience with the Hydros controller and their X10 comes with four dosing pumps. I've done videos in the past on Camor. They make really high quality stuff. Who else is there? Neptune Dose, I love their dosers. I have very little issues, but you know, these have been talked about so much. I feel like Camor doesn't get enough Love. So let's go ahead and hook this one up. It comes with Wi-Fi, comes with the app. Not sure what temperature detection means, but I guess we're gonna find out. We'll work on your Android, that's me, or maybe you're a normal human and use an Apple, that's you. Waterproof connectors, that's good. Temperature sensors, I still don't know what that means. Connecting tubes, I think that's like dosing line. Okay, this is a really a dumb spot to have it because if it falls, it's gonna go in the tank. I'm gonna hook it up right here in this little spot on the wall. And I like to just show off some of the equipment, display it nicely, uh, drop down into the overflow for the dosing. And then I like, people always ask us, what are we using? Used to use some Fauna Marin products. I've gone back now to uh, Aquaforest. Love, love, love this stuff. I went to go visit them in Poland, see how they make it. Yeah, awesome stuff, awesome production. Check out that video. Okay, let's get started. Hold on, little interruption break. ADHD brings you our mantis shrimp. I don't know what he's doing with his claws, but he looks like he's really, really about to strike something. Okay, initial impressions. I like how sleek it is. It's just like a bar. A couple wires coming out of it. Feels heavy duty. There's something about weight, weight and quality. When something feels heavy, you know, it just feels like it's high quality. These are our dosing heads. So these, this one says that it's accurate up to, it says plus minus 2%. You can dose 0.1 mil. What I'm doing here is just pushing on the dosing heads. Uh, 0.1, so not even one mil, 0.1 of a mil, a tenth of a ml, which is basically nothing, uh, up to 99,999 mils, 24 times a day is how many times you can get it to dose. Look at these funky little tubes. Nice. I've never actually done a warranty on one of these. So, yeah, we've been selling them in the store for about seven years. I've never had a com customer complaint. I've never had to service any of them. I think they make good stuff. Okay, and they give you some little nipples. Hmm, nipples. To connect your hose into the pump. They give you a graduated cylinder. I guess to calibrate it and they also give you this nifty little tube holder which is going to allow you to nicely um, attach the lines to wherever you're going to add this doser or oh, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to give one little criticism or complaint. These are your mounting screws. That's it. I, a lot of them, you know, Red Sea wasn't too happy with the doser at all, but it, it at least came with a mounting bracket. So you would first attach the bracket to the wall and then it clips on. 
Neptune dose. Been making it forever. Very, very easy to mount. This is all you get. Line those up. So I would not mind seeing a plastic or anything really to make it just a little bit easier to mount. Something to, to get it on the wall a little, a little easier. I don't have a lot of confidence in these dinky little screws because these are going to be basically holding up my $500 doser. So I don't think I'm going to use those. Now the make or break for me for a lot of these products, if you're going to have Wi-Fi, you're going to have a smart controller, you know, just, just make it work. So let's check this out. We'll scan the QR code to go. Oh, what happened? It doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, let's try. Maybe maybe it's just the manual. Let's try the QR code. Uh, let's try this one on the box here. Okay, let's see. Scan. Oh, okay. Well, that one seems to work. Maybe they just need to update their manual. Okay, once we downloaded the app, um, pretty straightforward. Registering was really easy. I like that you can use your phone number, and now we just have to find the product. I didn't realize, actually, they make a lot of things here. We're using this X5S. Okay, connection, super, super easy to set up. I think under 60 seconds, I have it running. I'm in manual mode. You can see I press start, and then boom, very responsive. First pump is starting to run. Okay, I got iodine set up, and I really like this manual feature. You can just set, you know, I wanna do one mil, press start, and then boom, it's just gonna dose one mil. That's it, it's set up. That was super easy. I like how quiet the thing is. It doesn't have a loud, sort of sound some of the other ones on the market. Neptune just came out with their new quiet drive, sorry. Uh, yeah, quiet drive dose because it's loud. The thing is great, but the thing is noisy. In your living room and bedroom, it's gonna drive you uh, nuts. This thing is more or less silent. I like that it gives you five pumps. It's about 500 Canadian, so that's like three and change uh, US dollars. Again, setup really easy, app is really easy. Uh, English is not their native language, I'll just say that, so it's a little bit it's not wonky. You, you understand what they're saying, but it's not. It's, it's a Chinese company that's making them, but it was very, very easy to set up. And for me, the app is really um, the, the, the make or break with a lot of these products. If you're going to make a Wi-Fi controlled app based product, it's got to work. And I want it to work seamlessly. And I like doing hardware review videos like this with you guys. And um, sharing as I go along. I don't want to like set it up and prepare and then come back. I want to give you my thoughts as I'm doing it. I'm not crazy about the colors on the front. I wouldn't mind if they were, um, if I could pick the colors somehow or maybe I'll throw some stickers on top of it. But those are like little nitpicky things. Overall, you know, half an hour setup, that's really good for me. As someone who's got a million things going on and my to-do list is never ending here in the shop, you know, that's as much time I want to spend on something and it gave me no headaches no frustration, long term we'll see. But like I said, we sold a lot of these units and I haven't done a warranty yet, which is not something I can say for another single brand of products here on the shelf. We have 2000 SKUs. Um, if it's been plugged in the wall, if it's a pump, anything, I've done a warranty at least once. I've yet to do one on Camwar. Maybe I am jinxing the warranty gods, maybe not. If you guys got any questions about setting up a doser, when's the right time to use it, you get tired of adding calcium, alkalinity, magnesium by hand, you know, doing it daily, this thing can take over for you. It's a great piece of automation and it allows you to add it slowly throughout the day rather than you know you come home from work you grab your alkalinity you toss it in it can kind of shock the system it throws off the chemistry if you do it all at once so it gives you a nice slow addition of any liquids and that's it i hope you guys found this useful and we'll see you guys back here on the next episode of fragbox tv bye for now